Today we're going to talk about goiter and hypothyroidism. So goiter is the enlargement of the thyroid gland according to the uh, unstable activity of the gland and hypothyroidism is the suppression of the thyroid gland or the decrease in the volume of the thyroid gland also according to the um, unstable activities of the gland. So first of all the goiter has two types. The simple the simple goiter and there is another type called the exothalamic goiter. The exothalamic goiter. Okay. Here this goiter can be called the hyperthyroidism. On the contrary of hypothyroidism. So the simple goiter is according to the iodine deficiency and the uh, food supply and the water in the air. So as we mentioned before that the secretion of the roxine uh, depends mainly on the percentage of the ratio of iodine in the human body. So the iodine supply if, uh, if it decreases according to the deficiency of iodine in food or water or the air, this causes the simple goiter. And this can be uh, treated by iodine extracts and stuff like that. The second type, which is the ectothalmic goiter, and um, this um, is more apparent than the simple goiter, and it's related to the uh, protrusion of eyeballs. So um, it's uh, pretty much obvious than the simple goiter. Um, in this one, when the iodine deficiency increases very much, uh, the thyroid gland enlarges and accordingly the uh, thyroxine excretion or the thyroxine production increases. And as we mentioned that thyroxine controls the basal metabolic rate and the absorption of carbohydrates or glucose from the intestines. So these things increase too much leading to weight loss due to the high metabolism of food. So uh, weight loss and of course increasing heartbeats due to the high activity of the uh, uh, organs related to metabolism. So the heart rate increases and uh, neuro irritability. Uh, in this case, uh, it's treated by the surgical um, interference by taking out a part of the gland or the suppression of the gland by any other medications. So this is the goiter. Now the hypothyroidism. The hypothyroidism we said is the decrease in the volume of the thyroid gland and uh, this occurs in uh, childhood and in adulthood. So in childhood, it leads to a case called cretinism. So in cretinism, uh, the um, thyroid gland suppresses and this leads to um, a lower metabolic rate, of course, and um, this affects greatly the growth of the child, leading to the presence of a large head, a short stature, and um, late sexual maturity and a very long delay in physical and mental growth. So this causes a permanent mental retardation. Well in adulthood when hyperthyroidism occur this leads to a condition called myxedema and in myxedema as the thyroid gland suppresses or uh, decreases in volume, of course this affects the production of thyroxine, so the, the production decreases and accordingly the metabolic rate decreases very much. No carbohydrates are absorbed from the intestines, accordingly the human or the patient uh, gains more weight and this leads to obesity, this leads to decreasing the heart rate and uh, rapid fatigability so that whatever activity or exercise the patient carries on he gets um, tired from even if it was a simple activity and uh, this is also accompanied by hair loss and stuff like that. This is treated by the um, 
prescription of thyroid gland extracts in order to um, replace the decrease or the loss of thyroxine production in the human body. So these were the types of goiter and hypothyroidism. The next time we will talk about the parathyroid glands and these are associated glands to the thyroid gland. Until then, I thank you for watching and see you.